कौन है ये कौन है ये इसने मुझे मुर्के नहीं देखा I already gave you my number. That's what you needed. ये दिखता तो बहुत छोटा सा है बिकॉज दिस इज एन एन एफ सी टैग आई गॉट एन एन एफ सी टैग विद फिफ्टी एन एफ सी टैग इन इट बहुत छोटा सा है इट वॉज अराउंड फाइव डॉलर हंड्रेड टू टू हंड्रेड रुपीज इन इंडिया यू कैन फाइंड इट इन माई लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन एमेजॉन लिंक सो बेसिकली दिस इज सो पावरफुल दैट आई हैव केप्ट इट इन माई फोन एज वेल लेट से टमोरो आई लूज माई फोन सम वन कैन एक्चुअली डू दिस and there will be a link popping up on my phone which takes the user to this place so here you can find my phone number exchange contact and then you can even go to my portfolio so here this is my portfolio which takes to my resume which has my twitter link uh youtube i i didn't add my youtube because it is resume so github twitter linkedin i added to all my social media and my resume is right here and if they find my phone if it is lost they can at least call me text me email me and if the person is good mera phone mujhe wapas mil jayega i will never lose my phone this way because of this nfc tag and it is so useful for networking let's say tomorrow you know you want to share your resume with a recruiter all they have to do is this and your resume is there if you don't want to put it in your phone in, you can put it in your wallet it is so so thin so that's it some some phones have nfc sensor here here on top of it like and the link is ready to be opened it will take you to this place and let's start step by step how you can make github resume like like i have and how you can make this कॉन्टैक्ट कार्ड इट पहले हम फोन में फिजिकल कार्ड रखते थे लाइक दोज फिजिकल कार्ड टाइम हैज गॉन दिस इज टाइम ऑफ डिजिटल कार्ड सो माई डिजिटल कार्ड इज ऑन लिंक एप डॉट कॉम स्लैश आई हर नूर यू कैन चेक इट आउट एंड वी कैन नॉट क्रिएट अ फ्री अकाउंट एवरी थिंग इज गोइंग टू बी फ्री इन दिस वीडियो स्पेशली फॉर स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट्स गेट सारे विद दिस एंड देन वी विल क्रिएट अ वेबसाइट सो वट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन गो टू लिंक एप डॉट कॉम एंड हियर वी कैन नो साइन अप सो यू कैन बाय देर एन एफ सी टैग इट्स फिफ्टीन डॉलर्स यू डोट हैव टू सो वी कैन नो क्रिएट अ फ्री अकाउंट लिंक प्रोफाइल क्रिएट योर प्रोफाइल सो हियर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड आई डोट हैव एन अकाउंट यू फिल योर नेम Uh, and then your phone number because this will be your contact. So you create a phone number and then a b c and x y z dot com, and then next. Now you add an image. So uh, I'm just gonna choose an image from here. So let's add a simple image and then next. Uh, then your job title, software engineer. You can add a bio. So it is professional as well. Submit. and that's it so my profile is ready it is completely free i even have their nfc tag card as well but you don't need it because you have these free nfc tags and you can make multiple of them we will create it soon but let's create the link first so here you can see i have created this these buttons you can customize it you can click on edit and add more so here i have added all my social media you can add more so for example if i add so so let's say i want to add my paypal etc whatever i want to add i can add let's say my tiktok so tiktok dot com slash sing in USA. I mean, I don't, I don't actively use it, but it'll add like here. So it is pretty organized. I don't use it, so I'm just gonna delete it. And when you click on add content here, you can choose your content, and here you can add links, which is so powerful. When you click on links here, you can add GitHub link. So my link will be HTTPS. We will create it soon. So here, this is my. I'll call it portfolio, and put my GitHub link HTTPS. I have no dot GitHub dot IO and it'll show uh, this card. It it'll it'll show something like this and it'll have the email which you entered in the beginning and it also has save content. So if I actually open it incognito, let's say your friend opens it, there is also a button to save contact and they can save your phone number, email address, physical address, everything with this. one button which is much faster for your recruiters and portfolio is anyways very powerful your your resume is right here so this portfolio is very easy what you have to do is now copy this link and you have to paste it while setting up this nfc tag so let's do step by step so i'm going to open the app called which you can add, uh, download from play store app store it's called nfc tools so on my phone first of all let me show you my link card virtual card so it's link 
app.com slash iHanoot. This is the basically the link which will open when I tap this. So basically this is my profile. I can click on my profile to go to resume. My phone number is in my contact. And now we're gonna copy this link and put it in NFC tools. So here I'm gonna click on write because we are writing into this NFC tag. Click on write. And then I have already added this URL. So let's, this is deleted. So let's delete, add a record. For you, you will create, click on add a record and create URL. And in this URL, you will enter the same URL that I just copied, link app. And I think you don't need HTTPS because you already specified there. So we can just keep it linkapp.com slash iherdoot. So done, okay. And now I'm gonna tap on it, this NFC tag on the phone and click on write and then scan again and this is ready now every single time so let let me show you so so every single time you scan this nfc tag it will show this url you click on it it takes you to my card which has my portfolio and it has my resume everything all set in less than one minute. Now, next step is to create your resume on github.io. You don't have to, you can in fact link a PDF document in this itself, link your resume, but that is paid. So that's why if you link it to a new website where your resume is downloadable, Google Drive link dal doge, that is cheaper, free, and it is more professional because your resume is on a website. You can make a very cool portfolio and let's get started with the tutorial. So step number one is going to be, we're gonna go to GitHub developer pack students. So here I go to developer packs and here I'm going to Sign up for student. If you're a student, you will get everything for free because you get your GitHub pages. So because your website is gonna be on GitHub pages, it is free for students. So this is something we're gonna use it. And uh, you have so many stuff free when you're a student. So you can definitely check it out. So let's go to github.com and I'm gonna create a new repo. So new repository and let's call it resume. I already have a resume, so I'm gonna call it resume too. But trust me, you should call it only resume because my profile is hosted at iherno.com, iherno.github.io, iherno is my username, slash resume. So that's the idea. Now for resume two, it'll be resume two when we set it up. So let's call it resume two, it's just resume. Just click create repository. And uh, it's saying that uh, we should have added in it. So let's go back, add readme. Uh, public and then resume two, uh, two is created. So three create repository with readme added. So now this project is ready. Now we're going to go to settings and then we are gonna go to pages and then deploy from branch. And then we're going to specify the branch here, main branch root save. So we specified the branch and then we can just click deploy from branch and we are all set. It'll take maybe one or two minutes and it'll be deployed. It's completely new. It, so trust me, it takes one to two minutes. Har cheez mein scratch se kar for you all. Just in two minutes, this website will be ready. So in case there's a problem, what you can do is you can deploy to docs and then change it to root again and then save. So this is how I refresh. So let's refresh and let's wait for one minute. It's 2.11 AM and I'm gonna wait. So my site is live. It is still 2 11 AM within 30 seconds. My site is live. When I click on this link, it takes me to just resume and my previous site is still active. So don't think your previous site is gone. My previous site is also active. This new site is generated. Resume three is ready. Now what I have to do is I go to my code and I need to add code of a website. So what you can do is you can go to Jekyll template. So here you will see there is a link to add a Jekyll theme. Let's not follow the steps since you are watching me. So let's go to jekylthemes.org and here we're gonna search for resume. So resume, there are multiple resume templates. Number one is this, this is the home page. This is the one I chose. Uh, let's go to demo with, so this is the one I chose actually, uh, which has a photo, it is. it looks very professional. And if you want, you can choose this as well. Uh, this looks like, let's click on demo. So. This looks, wait, uh, the demo page is broken, but like go to home page 
and you will see it looks like something like this it's like a resume too but i personally like the previous one so let's download it so i'm going to download it for you so download it and when you download it what you should do is you can put it in the github folder so i'm going to open github desktop download this app and then switch repository to add repository clone repository and i'm going to clone repository uh, github.com and resume 3 so i'm going to clone this repository in my local lo local folder so what i'm going to do is then go to documents github and resume 3 may paste kar dena. so like you have to paste it let's go to downloads and resume template so let's copy this template put it in resume 3 folder and you can replace the readme yeah let's just replace it and now what you're gonna do is so once you have pasted it you can commit that added template like commit github it's simple tutorial commit to main push now remember whenever we code pushing doesn't mean it's shipped you have to deploy as well so when you go here even though I've pushed your code, like if you go to your uh, GitHub branch, resume 3, pe jaoge, you will see everything is added and you will see yaar, ki why my profile is not updated because you haven't deployed. So the way to deploy is you go to settings again. So yahan pe dekho, sare code changes aage. your template is here, but it's not on the website. So go to settings and then pages. And what you can do is you can delete this deployment, unpublish site, and then uh, to refresh it, what I do is I change to docs and then back to main because our branch is main and it's root folder that we're going to deploy. So main, once again, I click, I saved on docs and then click on roots, save. And now this branch, now is this branch is deployed, hopefully. Let's take, it's, it's going to take one minute again, 30 seconds to 45 seconds. Within 45 seconds, now it were, I, de I deployed it to 14 by 215, it is ready. So now let's click on the link again and wait, it's not done. Oh yeah, it is done because of the cookies. I refreshed my resume is ready. So all I need to do is change the names, change the image and I'll be all set. So I can do is open Visual Studio code and here I can open the repo, open folder and then GitHub resume three open. And, uh, don't save in my previous repo and now this template or this whole theme is ready all you have to do is you go to the layout folder you have to make changes only in the data folder i have added material theme so yellow color is the place where you have to make changes you can even control shift f and search so basically go to the template see where lisa m is written uh, lisa m you will find the place it is in config.yml so basically you need to change make changes here and then if you if you look at the springfield international copy this go to command shift f enter and you have to make changes in experience so everything that you have to make changes in cut cut ake, it is basically in data and config file so config file is uh, command shift o config it is here it's an outside folder and data is here so these are the changes you have to do and then remember commit push deploy and it'll be ready and then after making the changes your website will look something like this i changed the change the image so what i did was if i open uh, if i open the images folder open the images change the avatar i created a new avatar renamed it to avatar.jpg so i actually if you click on inspect you will see the name so if i click on application you click on images i actually renamed I renamed my image to avatar.jpg and pasted it here so you, i added all the changes here and my resume was ready and whatever things you don't want you can comment it for example if you look at this template here twitter is there right so if you click on twitter there's a twitter web url given some urls you might not like it for example you don't want to give twitter just comment it command slash comment or add this hash symbol to it so whatever thing you don't want it you can comment it and in case there are errors where you will see let me show you the errors in case you don't need to run it locally what you can do is go to actions and this is the deployment it tells you that this deployment took 55 seconds this deployment took 45 seconds every time you deploy it it tells you how much time it took and if i go to my previous repo because i made a resume recently for you all so if you go to my resume here you go to github actions and here you can see deployment when it failed 
you can click on the error, click on it and go to the build and see why it failed. Here it shows you the error. It, it literally tells you the file, resume, vendor, bundle. It tell, told me that I have something wrong in this file where the problems were. So you can literally copy this, this error, put it in chat GPT. Whenever you face error, only in the deployment. You don't need to build locally. You can re install React together, but everything can be done in GitHub Actions when you click click deploy. So once again, if you want to learn how to click deploy, so uh, let's switch to resume three again. Uh, I have no repositories, resume three. Whenever you push, whenever the code changes are here, you go to settings and then remember, go to pages and then you can delete this, unpublish. And then uh, since I'm not able to hit save here, so I just click on docs, save. I think automatically it starts, but just to be sure, you can click on root and start again and see when you go to action, it should have started twice. So see, this was the started one, I canceled it and I started again. So you don't need to click on docs and click on main again, but you can just do is unpublish and publish again and it will be deployed. So this is the best way to make a website and add a link to your link page, link profile page. And whenever you share this air tag, it'll take you to your portfolio, your resume is easy to be shared now. And you can check out this NFC tag, including this link card. If I don't think you need to buy, this is $15, but you can straight away get this $5, 200 rupees ka NFC tag with the link in description below and the app is NFC tools. And thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. And this is the best way right now to network.